Harrison Boothlet, class of 2023, catcher first base, committed to San Jack, Juco Bandit. Shout out Eric Sim. Uh, played for BCA Baseball Academy, and yeah, this is a day in the life. So I got into baseball when I was four years old. And I think the things that influenced me the most to start playing was just looking at the people who are playing the game now and how much an effect they have on the younger generations and what they're doing for them and the impact and difference you can make you know, when you play professional baseball. And just the love for baseball is something that I've always had and that I've really always enjoyed playing. Uh, so I'm committed to San Jack, number one junior college in the country. Uh, what made me commit to San Jack was it's the best junior college program in the country. The coaching staff is caring. They have great facilities, and it's Texas, Texas weather. You know, you get to play baseball whenever you want. Uh, the attraction they bring, they have the most dudes drafted at a junior college, and junior college is something that I, you know, overlooked at a Division One level. So you got to go to the junior college level to, you know, prove yourself and transfer out of there or just get drafted at a junior college. And I think it offered me great opportunity, and I'm excited to be a Raven. Yeah, so getting looked at by a junior college is something that it's a lot of people do, but you want to make sure that you know you're putting in the work, and especially when you go some Division One schools, some kids even transfer from Division One schools to junior college schools. So you know, even if you're not a mid-major, high-level D1 player, if you go junior college, you have a chance to transfer out of there. Like San Jack, SEC, ACC players come out of there. Professional baseballs come out of there. So the more you, the more you put your name out there, and the more that you do these things, the better opportunity you have to, um, you know, get where you want to be one day. Uh, I feel like my greatest strength that I bring to the game is definitely my pop to all fields uh, when I'm batting wise. I love hitting the ball the other way. I love pulling the ball. I definitely hit for average power, um, everything. Uh, I think the weakest thing that I can work on is possibly my flexibility when I'm catching a little bit. You know, hips are a little stiff, but we're going to work on that. I think a little bit. I think once you're committed, it kind of takes some pressure off of you. But you know, you have a certain you have a certain name to your name almost, where you know people expect certain things when you're committed to certain schools. But I think that the only person putting pressure on you is yourself. So I think as long as you take that pressure off and just play baseball as a game and how it's meant to be played and play with the love of the game, then I think there's no pressure whatsoever, and you just go out there and play.
Everyone's just better. What's this? What? What's it? What's next? Right here. Yeah. Yeah. So I really love working out before games. I like getting some intense cardio, some weightlifting, some core working before games really activate my muscles a little bit. I know some people think you might get tired from it, but I promise for me, I do not get tired. I don't know what it is. I just love getting my body prepared before I go out there and work. I think my greatest baseball memory is probably this last year, uh, state, state quarterfinals against Western Christian Academy. Uh, I hit a go-ahead two-run bomb. Uh, I think that was probably my greatest memory because, you know, I, I know people on the other team and stuff like that. So, you know, there's a, lot of, there's a little bit of tension there. So I went out, I did my thing, and I was able to, you know, produce for the team, which led us to uh, win the state semifinals and then eventually play in the state championship. I would say don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just go out and play baseball. The term they'll find you is right, but in a way you have to put yourself out there too. You can't just expect people to come see you. Like send emails, send video, make sure you get a lot of video. You know, record every at bat, record throws, record pitches, record whatever you need to do. But put yourself out there, email coaches, do what you have to do, and eventually you'll find your right fit. Don't think that just because some kid's going somewhere and you're not going where they're going, it's not your path. So think about it as you have your own path and it's special to you. So we started off the day in the cage, did some front toss, then we went into some BP in the cage, and we came out, did some BP on the field, me and JB had some bombs on the field, we hit some good. Uh, then I came out, threw from home to second for a few, threw to third, and that's been a day in the life. What's up guys? I'm Hype and I had to jump into this video real quick to ask for a huge favor. Over 85% of the 1.3 million views that were viewed on this channel last month we're not subscribers. So if you do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and if you are subscribed, hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help on growing the channel. And the bigger the channel gets, the better the videos. Thank you so much. Now back to the video.